Hey guys, and welcome to the Golf Dynasty channel. If you have been watching my other videos, you have seen how my simulator has changed drastically over time, and I decided to make a separate video about what my setup looks like now, and in the process, tell you some tips and tricks to save you a lot of time, money, and frustration. At the making of this video, my setup is up to just under $7,000 for all the technology and furnishings directly associated with the simulator. In this number, I'm not including building upgrades like the new lights, sheetrock repairs, and things like that. Traditional simulators for the most part have the same layout which includes an enclosure, projector screen, and artificial grass. My setup is somewhat different because I put mine in the garage and I wanted to maximize the use of the space. The newest and one of the most exciting additions to this setup is this XJME 4K projector and this retractable screen. Rather than using an impact screen, I went with a regular projector screen because it's important to me that the screen is flat and unblemished for good picture quality, which is a struggle when you are constantly hitting it with golf balls. You can also save hundreds of dollars if you buy a standard screen rather than a high quality impact screen. By the way, I tried using a cheap impact screen and the noise level was horrendous, so don't make that mistake if you go that route. One benefit to having the screen mounted to the garage door is that if it's nice out, I can open the door without having to move the projector screen. I also put this magnetic screen over the garage door opening to keep the bugs away during the summer. Other than the projector screen, I also have a ceiling mounted TV and a monitor that are all hooked up to the same source so you can watch the game on any of the screens. What's nice about having more than one screen is that you can watch TV while playing golf. The projector is also portable so if I want to watch a movie in the house, I can easily take it off the universal ceiling mount and put it on the foldable wall mount that I already have set up in the house. When buying a projector, I highly recommend that you get one that is portable so you can get a lot more use out of it like I do. This black carpeting is also a new addition. Rather than having artificial grass cover the entire room, I decided to go with this outdoor style carpeting which is waterproof and easy to clean while adding a very comfortable feel to the room without costing very much. The padded mats I have in the middle of the room are about $7 per square foot, while the carpeting is only 70 cents per square foot. By the way, I have links in the description for every product mentioned in this video for your convenience. I also recently upgraded the hitting mats. I like the padded artificial turf for a flooring surface, but I don't like it for the hitting surface, so I bought these two separate mats and cut out a section out of my existing flooring to make them both fit. The larger mat on the right is thicker, but more importantly, it allows you to use real tees. The smaller mat is my personal favorite, but it doesn't work with real tees, which is why I like having these two side by side. Everyone has different preferences for hitting mats, so having more than one hitting surface will suit more people. One of the big mistakes I made when I first started out is playing directly off this padded mat, which caused a wrist injury that led me to switching to a more forgiving hitting mat. Check out the video about different hitting mats if you would like to know more. Having all these screens and technology in the room means having lots of wires. I got around this problem by getting these inexpensive wire molds that are easy to install while also making the whole setup look a lot more complete. These only cost about a dollar and a half per linear foot. A commercial setup is a lot more expensive while also less flexible because all of these wires are run in the walls. However, this solution can save you thousands of dollars by running your cables externally. On top of this room being a golf simulator and home theater, I also dedicated a corner for a basic workout spot. To maximize the use of the space, I went with the Bowflex adjustable weights and a multi-use bench. I also hope to add a squat rack to the setup shortly. At the end of the day, one of the coolest things about the setup is that it's all easily movable. So if I buy a new house, I can disassemble everything and just move it to the new garage. The turf pads easily stack, the carpeting can be rolled up, the curtains on the walls unclip, the net can be disassembled, and so on. That pretty much wraps up the quick tour of my simulator. In the future, I plan to make a longer and more detailed video after I make a bunch more updates to the setup. So if there's anything that you would like me to get into more detail about, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and being a supporter of the channel. If you like this content, it would really mean a lot if you would hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because I have tons more videos like this to make and your support means the world to me. But before you go, I hope you check out this video next.